Want to see something crazy? Watch this. I'm going to ask this terminal to create a React app using simple English. No Googling, no messing with syntax. This is Warp, a beautifully designed terminal packed with powerful features. It generates the command for me, asks for my permission, and executes it once I approve. And this is how easy my workflow has become with Warp Terminal. So if you're on Mac OS or Linux, then you can just easily install it from the download page. But if you're on Windows, you're out of luck. Warp on Windows is going to be coming soon and you can join the waitlist, but that won't stop us. Don't worry, I've got a workaround. I'll show you how to get it installed on Windows step-by-step -step at the end of the video, so stick around. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. So let's go over some of the amazing features that it offers. So as you can see, each command is built into separate blocks for clarification in the terminal. It also offers smart suggestions and auto-completions. One of the best features, in my opinion, is the fun customization it offers right out of the box without the need to install any additional tools. Warp offers you amazing theme selections. By going into the settings and then into the appearance section, you can see the current applied theme. Clicking on it will display a wide variety of themes that you can apply to your terminal. You can choose whichever one you like. I'll stick with the dark theme. Another feature that enhances the look is adjusting the opacity to make the terminal slightly transparent, which makes the setup look minimal and so much better. Another thing is that this terminal is insanely fast because it's built on the Rust programming language. As we all know, Rust is notoriously hard to learn, but is incredibly fast. Let me show you another funny thing about Warp that has completely changed the way that I work. Before, when I was working on a project or initially learning Linux, I used to group the Linux terminal and a tab with ChatGPT and Chrome. I used to ask ChatGPT for assistance with the right command, and whatever I needed, I just copy and paste it from there. But this is how I work now. Just by pressing Ctrl plus R, it opens up the search for commands, so you can directly search for regular commands here, like I'm doing with the update command. But if you're not sure which command to use or simply don't know what you need, you can use the built-in AI. You can simply ask it in natural language. Here, for example, I'm asking which command I need to use. And it directly gives me the command. With Warp Terminal, you get an agent built directly into your terminal. It allows you to press Control plus I or even start typing and it automatically detects that you're using natural language. Essentially, it's AI integrated right to your terminal. So let me show you how you can use it. This is Ader. It's essentially an AI pair programmer right in your terminal. Normally, to install it, I'd go to the GitHub repo, scroll down to the installation instructions, and follow them step by step. Instead, I'm going to copy the link to the repo, open warp, and either use natural language or enable AI mode by pressing Control plus I. I'll ask it to clone the Ader repo and install it for me, providing the repo link. As you can see, it starts by cloning the repo first. After cloning the repo, it navigates into the clone directory and starts installing the additional requirements and dependencies that Ader needs. Let me fast forward while it installs everything. Once all the dependencies are installed, it prompts me to follow the further instructions in the readme file. I'll ask how to run Ader. It refers to the readme file and understands what needs to be done, guiding me step by step. First, it provides the initial command, so I run it. However, the command uses an incorrect version of Python, which it correctly identifies. It then suggests a replacement command, and by pressing Tab, I can autofill the corrected command and execute it.
Next, it checks if I have the latest version of Ader. It continues by taking the next command from the repo. For instance, when I type CD, it anticipates the next step, auto-completing it even though we're still within the repo directory. Finally, I need to set up the environment variable by providing my OpenAI API key for Ader to function. I'll fill in my API key, and then we'll start Ader up. Now that we've set up the environment variable, we're just going to type Ader in its own repo to start it up. And that's how we set it up entirely using natural language in our terminal. There's also a really cool feature called Warp Drive, designed for teams working on the same project. It's essentially a secure library where your team can upload resources. First, you can create teams to collaborate directly on the command line. If you're all working on the same project, shared configuration files or tools will be synced and available across all your team members' terminals. Additionally, environment variables help standardize common team processes through runbooks, and commands can be templatized for reuse with just a few keystrokes. But to activate or create a team, you need to sign up if you don't already have an account, or sign in if you do. Then head into the settings where you'll be able to create your own team. Once your team is created, you can invite others to join via a link. On the left, you'll see your warp drive, where, as mentioned earlier, you can configure common environment variables shared by the team. This warp drive feature is really interesting and can be highly beneficial for larger teams working on the same project. Additionally, there are some other crazy things I saw with this terminal on x.com. It can build small little games for you right in your terminal and also offers other amazing features like also directly viewing 3D objects in your terminal. Now let's talk about how to install it on Windows. First of all, you'll need WSL. Installing it is pretty straightforward. I'll link the article below. Just go there, copy the commands, paste them into your terminal, and you can install it easily. Next, we'll return to the download page and download the Debian installer from the Linux section to install it in WSL. In the documentation, you'll find the command to install the Debian file from the WSL terminal. I'll link this command as well, so don't worry. You can just copy it from the description below. Here, I've opened my terminal and will simply paste the command in. I'll just pasted the installer from my Windows directory into my WSL directory. Navigating to the download directory, I can see the file is here. I'll take the name of the file and replace it in the command. This will install the warp terminal for me. And that's a wrap on warp terminal. I highly encourage you to include this in your workflow. It's pretty great. With its advanced AI features and beautiful minimal design, it not only boosts productivity, but also makes coding much more fun for me. Honestly, the aesthetic is one of my favorite parts. It's simple, yet so effective. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if it helps you streamline your workflow too. See you in the next one. Do you want to see a code editor build a full stack app? Then watch this video in which we show how capable Windsurf IDE is.